Access Stories, presented by the Access VSA International Network, a program of the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts Office of Access and VSA, a Gene Kennedy Smith Arts and Disability Program. Access Stories is a series of personal stories from Access VSA International Network members. These stories were filmed in August 2023 at the Leadership Exchange in Arts and Disability LEAD conference in Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Mary Robinson. I am a student at Mary Washington University in uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia. I am in my mid 40s, so I am in a career transfer. My access story involves my son, who is a 20-year-old autistic young man who is nonverbal, high um, demand needs, low functioning, whichever terminology you prefer. And as I have been going through my journey with going back to school and majoring in theater arts, I have had the opportunity to take him to sensory-friendly theater um, to experience what live theater is like in comparison to what he is normally accustomed to, which is his iPad movies. He is a very active person and very much on the move and has to be always moving. So a sensory-friendly experience is very um, accommodating for him. So some of the tools and accommodations at a sensory-friendly performance that really helped and benefit my son's experience were items such as pre-visit materials or a social story to help him prepare for what to, he could expect at while attending a theater event. Um, showing us as a family where um, the sensory mapping of the venue was, which rooms would have more noise, which rooms were quiet spaces, where even guiding us where the bathrooms are or whether or not there will be crowds or waiting in lines so that he could understand that these experiences are going to happen and he could mentally prepare himself for those events and we could, we could bring tools ourselves from home to help make sure that he had that, um, the tools he needed to be able to have an enjoyable experience. At the moment that the production began, I had never seen him sit so still and transfixed in my life. He, his eyes were wide, he had a big smile on his face, he didn't move a muscle the entire two hours of the um, production. And afterwards, he kept asking to go to stage movies, which is now what we call theatrical events, is we go to stage movies. And since that experience at Ford's Theater, I've been able to take him to the Kennedy Center to see The Lion King and even um, experiences that were not sensory friendly, he still has had the opportunity to have the accommodations such as earplugs and stuff so that he can feel like he can go out in society and enjoy these things that we often take for granted. Access Stories, presented by the Access VSA International Network, a program of the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts Office of Access and VSA, a Gene Kennedy Smith Arts and Disability Program. Director and Editor, Cindy Brown. Videographer, Jessica Wallach.